joined now from Trinity College in Dublin by Matt Mullenweg, who's been attending that web summit in Dublin. He's the founder of WordPress. Uh, you're very welcome to the programme, Matt. Thanks very much indeed uh, for talking to us. I suppose many people who are involved in the technology sector will know about WordPress, uh, but for others, t t tell us what it is. Sure. So WordPress is open source software created by a community that basically makes it easy for anyone to start a website or a blog and used from everyone from big guys like CNN and the New York Times all the way to about 25 million bloggers all around the world that use it to publish. So if you, if you, if you open a blog, anybody's blog, the chances are that WordPress is, is providing the technology that's driving that? Uh, if it's a good blog. <laughs> All right. Uh, you you began. Uh, you 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 founded the company. You developed this technology. Well, I think you were still a student. Is that right? I was 19 years old, and I was in Houston, Texas. That's correct. I was studying political science. So, what was it that uh, that allowed you, first of all, to see this opportunity, and then to be able to run with it? A lot of open source software, and myself included, start where you need it yourself. So I had a blog, um, it's now at ma.tt, and I just I thought blogging was too hard. I thought this can be simpler, we can make this better. So I started working on it and joined up with folks all around the world who also worked on it with me. And of course it's part of this uh, really extraordinary change that we've seen uh, just really in the last few years in the way technology is, is evolving and the way it's been used by people, the social networks that have sprung up. Yeah. It's been quite a change. Even just the fact that a kid in Houston who's 19 years old can team up with uh, a guy in London and Donna Coke, Weave and Quark and start building this software together, you can create something far bigger than any of you could create on your own. Well, now, you know, and you've been attending this web summit, and there's a lot of talk in this country about uh, fostering the smart economy. What, what's needed to foster the kind of innovation which you've been describing in your, in your, in your own case? And are we getting it right here? Uh, that's a good question. So I think here in Ireland, you have the most important thing, which is the people. I mean, you have the right ingredients. In terms of what will start sort of more startups and everything, it's like Nike. Like, you just have to do it. I mean, there's no magical, like, catalyst. Um, the closest would be events like the Dublin Web Summit, uh, things that get everyone together and create the connections between investors and entrepreneurs and startups uh, can be a nice catalyst, but ultimately you just got to do it. And in fact, uh, recessions or tough economic times are the best times to start companies. A lot of the technology greats like HP and everything were started in very dark economic times. So sometimes the it can be the silver lining on the cloud. How do you see uh, particularly the social networking technology evolving? Where is it going? Where is it going to take us? That's a good question. So the social networking world can move so quickly. I mean, look at the dominance of Friendster, then to Bebo, to Facebook um, in the course of basically five years. Uh, so it's hard to predict, but the things that there's certain things that are undeniable, and that's the growth of mobile. Um, I'm seeing a lot more smartphones on my trip to Ireland this time, and that's just, that's just going to explode, particularly when you have Android and iPhone devices. So I think that this social networking and just computing in general becomes something in your pocket, something that you do whenever you have a spare 30 seconds, rather than something you sit down at your desk and, you know, work at. So do you want to tell us what's going to be your next project, Matt? Ah. I don't think I'll go directly into social networking, but we've seen that social networks provide great distribution for blogs. So although uh, when it first happened, we thought one might replace the other, it turns out that Twitter and Facebook and everything just provide a lot of traffic because it tells your friends that you have a new post. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for coming out of the, 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 the web meeting to talk to us this evening. Uh, Matt uh, Mullenweg. It's been a pleasure. Thanks very much indeed, Matt.